My name's Sam Rowe, but I am the founder and director of the Academy of Hard Knocks, which is at Fight Science, the major gym and order shop. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm sitting in the cell and uh, I'm trying to make me do all these courses that obviously don't work. Because if it worked, I wouldn't be back in jail again. Now, if someone took me aside for, when I was 14, 15, and showed me a way, a different way of dealing with my anger, with my, with my aggression, with, um, and just give me some focus and some guidance, I wouldn't have gone down them paths and I wouldn't have ended up in jail um, four times, wasting nearly 10 years of my life in jail. I say to him, look, prison, prison's just a waste of life. What do you think you're doing? It's, it's just not worth it. You know, you, you, you're away from your loved ones, sometimes for years on end. Yeah, fair enough, you're getting three squares a day. You're getting a TV in your cell. You might get a PlayStation if you're lucky. You might have to get to wear your own clothes. But you've got loss of liberty. You can't go out on the weekend. You can't, you, can, you can't enjoy stuff with your family. You can't watch your family growing up because you're behind the door. And when you're behind the door, um, life stops. Life stops for you but life carries on in the outside world. And anything on the outside world is out of your control. Anything that happens in the outside world is out of your control until you actually get back out again. And you get out, you can't get a job. No one wants to employ you. You're what we call unemployable. You go to five or six job interviews a day and you'll get a knock. As soon as you tell them you've been in jail, you get a knockback and another knockback and another knockback. And within a couple of months of that, when you've got no money coming in, you're gonna to revert to type. Well, that's what we're trying to stop. It's called breaking the cycle. Breaking the cycle of offending and re-offending. On my last sentence, I did four years. And in them four years, I was sitting there and I watched people go out the door only to return two, three weeks later. I, was, I thought you got out, mate. And, yeah, yeah, I committed more crimes. It's easier in here than it is outside. You ain't got to pay no bills. Uh, they, they haven't got to pay for their food. They haven't got to worry because they've, they've been looked after. It cost um, £73,000 to keep a young person in jail for one year. And then another 40000 in social fund when they get out. So it's nearly 110000 per young person. If you equate that to, we could get through 320 young people um, in a year in just one gym. Creates about £100,000 each. That's £32 million pounds we could potentially save the taxpayer and the government. And the cost of all this is about 30000 a course. Yeah, I've had my doubters along the way. Um, people, people say, oh, why, why are you teaching criminals violence? We're not actually teaching them violence. Uh, we're teaching them respect, we're teaching them discipline. Uh, most of all, but making them feel part of something. Anything they learn in here stays in here. If they take it out on the street, um, the, 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 the punishment is, is um, well, one, they wouldn't be allowed to be part of, part of what we do. And two, they'd end up in jail. And they know they'd end up in jail, and none of them want to actually go there. The reason they don't want to go there is because I've given them some scare stories. I have a man called um, Sean Atwater. He was in jail in Arizona for drug charges. And he comes in and scares, scares the heebie-jeebies out of them as well. They don't want to go to prison. None of them want to go to prison. At the moment, we can run the academy hard knocks on the very bare bones. 
Uh, the very bare bones is just, just, just running one course for the next three months. We've got applications in with the lottery, with comic relief, with, with children in need, with sported and the Olympic Commission. Um, these grants are going to pay out, but it takes time. We need sponsorship um, and someone to help us out with running costs just, just up until when these grants and funds pay off.